This video is sponsored by KEH Camera. Welcome to a new vlog. I was meant to go on a photo shoot tonight. It's Tuesday at 5.30, but we got rained out, so it will be happening tomorrow. However, I am going to be packing up a bunch of gear to send back to KEH Camera, which is where you can buy and sell used camera gear. I do lots of videos with them. So I'm gonna get that all sorted, organized, wrapped back up. I'm gonna throw you back to when I was getting ready to go for the shoot, and then we'll do packing up all of the gear. Felicia and I just got off of FaceTime and she showed me her outfit and it is so cute and I don't know if I should keep it as a surprise or share it now. Okay, let's share it now. It's this hot pink suit so cute and she's like yeah this is kind of my last chance to wear it because it's gonna start getting into all fall photos and stuff and i was like perfect we're both bringing our dogs to meet each other for the first time she has a little schnauzer and i have bumblebee and we have never been able to have them meet we're able to bring them along so it's gonna be so cute i'm excited to see felicia too i haven't seen her in like two weeks and we usually see each other at least once a week um, we usually meet up for dinner in Capitol Hill, but it's been a minute. This dog, he was all cozy. Hi, my love. Perfection. So I've been calling Bumblebee Perfection lately. Perfection! Good morning, Perfection! Because that is what he is. Hi, cutie. <coughs> oh! Bless you! We just went on a walk. What I need to do is pack up the Nikon camera and lens and then my Mark IV and then the lens into my low pro bag as well as my filming equipment. This is my backpack that I have used and loved for years. This is the Low Pro Free line. I'll link it down below. And this is my wonderful dog, Bumblebee. Hi! This is a box of camera equipment. I wanted to actually start packing this up to ship it back to KEH. So we have an 85 millimeter 1.2. I love this lens. I might need to buy this. Um, it's definitely on my list. Then we have the Nikon D850. Then we have lots of little lens hoods that I need to pop back onto or put them in the appropriate package. We have a couple different Nikon camera battery chargers. Those need to go as well as this one. This is empty, but these all need to go in their um, individual little uh, packaging. So we have a Nikon Z7 here. Super pretty. And then Canon R5. Oh my goodness. If you haven't seen my video where I compare the Canon R5 against the Mark IV, it's a must watch. Here's a little quick comparison. Um, look at how much smaller it is just in terms of like, overall size. And of course, if you remove this little grip, it's so nice. I love this camera, but do I love it as much as the Mark IV? Do I think it's actually worth the price? Is it that big of a difference? You can find out in that video. So this needs to get packed up. And then we also have a Nikon Z6, and I believe this one is in excellent plus condition. So on KEH, there's different quality tiers for their equipment. You can go all the way from bargain, which actually doesn't affect the picture quality. It's just that there's cosmetic uh, things to the camera, but it doesn't affect the glass. So that's nice. So these though are excellent. And as you can see, they don't even look like they're used. Um, but I believe this one is excellent plus. So these two are going back. This is going back. Then here are the plastic bags and everything comes so well wrapped. And then we have the RF 50 millimeter. I believe this is 1.2 off the top of my head. Look at how large this is. Look at this, 50, let's see, I don't remember off the top of my head, yep, 1.2. And look at this glass. This is in beautiful condition, and this is used. You can save hundreds when you buy used and the gear is in great condition, it's crazy. But look at how large this 50 millimeter 
1.2 is compared this is the rf lens so it's specifically made for the r bodies versus the ef 1.2 isn't that crazy and let me show you actually in comparison to an 85 1.2 ef this is crazy it's so big and so in that video i talk about how one big turnoff for me would be the size of these lenses because it like even though the body is nice and lightweight once you add a lens of this size and weight it kind of removes a bit of practicality from it so if you want to hear a practical perspective about upgrading if you should do it then um, check out the video comparing the mark IV against the r5 bumblebee wants to help too so let's get the rest of this though all kind of put away packed up and i need to rewrap it in the bubble wrap you can see how secure everything comes Super, super great and a good way to save. So let's get this all together. I'm gonna run downstairs and put masking tape on these because I'm out of shipping tape. I should get that at the store today. And then I have some leftover pieces for the other items that I'll be shipping out the day after tomorrow. This is more than enough bubble wrap because it's going to be totally secured. And I have layers and layers to put between these and then I have more bubble wrap. Um, to go on the very top so this will be good I originally was not going to be vlogging this week because it's actually the launch week for my workshop and by the time you see this video the workshop is no longer available I did a open cart closed cart situation one pro to the shoot getting rained out means I can get an orange theory workout in which I didn't think I was gonna be able to do tonight anyway but here I am we'll just see where the video takes us oh I should have had it where you can see bumblebee oh my goodness I'm so excited for bumblebee and Felicia's dog Missy to meet oh my goodness look at what I did with my nails I got a professional manicure I found the most amazing nail tech and these are gel. I'm so happy. All of this has been painted. Woo! So these boards are done. And then, wait, what are we flipping over these? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Well, I already flipped. It's a little tacky. No, it's not. I already flipped this one over, but you can see, I don't know if you can see down there, but you can see how it needs more paint in certain areas. Gotcha. And then the, all and the then other ones have had their third paint. Never mind. My mom says she does not need my help. I just had to help flip over the boards and then she's gonna do a third coat. This Dunn Edwards 
exterior paint is phenomenal I mean, we have done edwards all throughout the house the entire house is done edwards but the exterior paint the interior paint is great and this exterior paint is amazing and i did a high gloss finish i wasn't sure if i should do the gloss or high gloss I'm happy I did the high gloss. I think it's going to look so good. And we did the color warm white. So if you're interested in how and why I painted my house pink, <laughs> I did a whole video on that. And I walked through all the different color palettes um, for my house through Dunn Edwards. So I'll have that on the iCard above. So now I'm going to change into Orange Theory clothes and then work. And then I'm going to go to class. I'm 30 and I'm back from Orange Theory. I'm feeling good. The workout, I haven't been to Orange Theory in four days, so it was a really hard workout on the treadmill, but I think that it was overall good, and I'm in the swing of it. It's the next day at about 10 o'clock, and I had a bit more of a proper morning routine. I am definitely one to just wake up and get right on the computer and work for a few hours straight and then have my breakfast or lunch at that point. It's not the best routine and it works for me right now, but I think I could get burnt out from it. So today I gave myself a bit more of a morning routine. I even got ready for the most part, still need to do my face makeup. I'll do that closer to when I have to leave for the photo shoot tonight. And I've been at the computer doing lots of different little things for my class tomorrow, as well as regular work admin tasks. I can't believe that the pricing class is tomorrow. It's months in the making, and I have a few tech things that I need to do today. I wanna get a couple new email addresses so that I can have my email service provider for my email list be hooked up to one email address so that it doesn't go to my main inbox. I kind of want to have a new email address for myself, so all still under my domain, but instead of just hello and workshop, I think I will have like customer service and then one for the email list specifically, just so I can get a bit more organized and I won't be as distracted in my inbox because whenever I send out an email to my email list, I'll get replies from people and sometimes it will be like very specific questions and things that I need to sit and respond to, but it's not necessarily priority to my other work. So I could do it all one day during the week. I just, I want to get it, I, I know the system can be more organized and that's what I'm all about. So I have a problem though with adding new emails. There's like some kind of missing key that I need uh, somebody in like tech to help me with. And so this morning we've been organizing that out and I keep thinking, Oh my goodness, about my podcast, I am going to be relaunching the Build and Bloom podcast. There's already so many episodes up, but I haven't been consistent with it. It's it just it can be taken to a new level, I know. And now that I've outsourced other tasks in my business, now I can have the time to properly plan and launch a podcast and have all the episodes ready to go for you know, a 12 week season. I'm really excited. So if you wanna catch up on the Build and Bloom podcast, I you can find it wherever you listen. Okay, so I'm going to go make myself probably a liquid IV electrolyte drink. I already had a cup of coffee and I'm gonna to try to limit myself to just one cup today. And then later this afternoon, we're going to be going to the Bellevue City Park to do a photo shoot with Felicia the one that was canceled um, yesterday we got rained out and today it is so bright and sunny out it's going to be hopefully god willing a beautiful golden hour i'm going to hop back on my day we made it to bellevue here's felicia look how beautiful oh, we have missy here and this is going to be so cute and we have bumblebee here too so they are meeting each other for the first time oh what do you think and he has this bandana that says bumblebee on it. I could spend forever just filming the two dogs, but it's time to start um, shooting. So right now we have a little patch of sunlight and we're gonna do some backlighting shots. I'm just gonna set this tripod up. We're here at the city park and we're gonna use the last of the, sun, the sunlight. Look at they're watching Felicia. We're gonna be using the 5D Mark IV with the 85 1.2. So cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we just shot over He's here perfect. with, he is, we just shot over here with, um, with all of the green, which is really cute, but we're gonna now go and shoot more solid colors and out on the city streets. Cause I mean, this whole look, it's really busy, right? Hi, hi. It's so busy right now that um, I think we might even go to the other side of the park. We're gonna just go and walk around and find some new location. this cute bench the reason why we're picking this bench is because it has the best light because we're right across from this um, water so it's reflecting beautifully onto Felicia's face everything else is flat and evenly lit so this is gonna look so cute again we are using the 85 from KEH for this and Bumblebee is watching right here <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> really good. I'm, she's doing a lot better than I expected. She's doing a good job. Now we're gonna go and shoot over here with all of these buildings, and then we're gonna shoot at some stairs. We're giving them a treat, treat break. So we're gonna be shooting here now. Because we have an 85 millimeter, we're gonna do two different um, placements here with this background. So we're gonna start down in the grass and then we're going to go all the way up to the top step. That's not gonna get any of the cityscape. It'll get more of the green, which is what we want. Cause when we first did our first location, it was a little bit, it had a lot of yellow from the sun. So this will be totally green. so dark right now so we're actually gonna just go onto the city streets and get some more photos before it's too much darker um, and then I think we'll have a good selection of like 20 images for Felicia to use so it'll be very cute very very cute and then we're gonna get dinner and eat it at this wonderful park <laughs> so you so cute Bumble. it's too dark for us to keep shooting so we're gonna do some photos right here of just Felicia because she's in her suit she used these for some of her headshots because they just opened up a new business so we just finished shooting <laughs> and they are such good dogs Bumblebee and Missy they had a rough day no pun intended <laughs> good boy okay now we're gonna go and get some food photo shoot was so so much fun and very refreshing thank you again keh camera for generously sponsoring this video if you're interested head to the link in the description box below this is where you can save hundreds on gently used camera equipment you can also sell with them you can trade in and you can repair so there'll be a code on the screen for five percent off if you shop and then a five percent bonus if you sell through keh which is easy fast it's amazing so be sure to hit subscribe so that you're the first to know when new free tutorials for your photography business come out and if you're looking to join a kind encouraging and inclusive photography community check out the build and bloom facebook group don't forget about keh camera this is an amazing resource just bookmark it for later linked down below and i'll see you in the next video bye